Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sessa here with a video here today. I bring you guys another video I'm actually super proud about. It's basically gonna be giving you guys three different typography trends and ideas. And in those three different type of trends, I'm giving you guys also three different examples in those trends. So hopefully you guys just get your brain running, get some inspiration going. And it's overall just gonna be a series that I wanna kinda continue with other different things of course as well. And uh, just give you guys, like I said, a whole bunch of different ideas and more of like in a raw form so you can really get your brain running. And yeah, that's all I got to say. So hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video to show me guys you guys like it. Um, if you guys have any other comments, or excuse me, comment down below if you guys have any other ideas of like what you might want to see like trend wise. Um, I'd love to look it up, help you guys out and just give you guys what I've been going for um, or what I've been doing myself. So with that being said, I'll tell you guys later. Enjoy, stay safe as always. And uh, that's it, enjoy. All right guys, this first typography stroke method is this awesome repeated stroke pattern. You guys end up probably seeing it a lot to fill white space and it's a super clean appearance so it can pretty much fit anywhere. Now to do it is pretty simple. You of course have your text layer ready. You make a duplicate by selecting the text layer and pressing control J. Then you take the fill option and lower it down to zero. Double click on the text layer copy. Select the stroke option and put the size at two. Then you wanna convert the text layer to a smart object. Right click again, then rasterize the text copy layer. Hold shift and move your mouse up. It'll keep the actual movement on the same axis. Use the right tag marquee tool to select 30% of the text, then press delete on your keyboard to remove the selected area, and rinse and repeat till the desired copies are met. And of course, do not be afraid to take some copies and change the color, of course, to match the color scene that you're looking for, and match the vibe that you're going for as well. Now, when put in a scenario on how to actually use this type style, do not be afraid to actually rotate the type itself and let it sit in its own white space while you place whatever other design elements you have into the other side of the canvas. Overall, super clean style, and I hope you guys find some space to use it in your designs. Next iteration is taking your text strokes and help fill white space by taking your stroke copies and making them bigger behind the original text layer. Given the right combo of fonts and colors, you can easily create a cool tech vibe in really quick, simple steps. When faced with utilization, you can think of this layering as a method of texturing your canvas and finish playing with whatever space is left. It's a super quick and easy method. If you ever get stuck with background backings, starting with the right font and the amount of copies can get you rolling. Now, this next variation is super simple, but don't sleep on it. One of my favorite things to do is actually taking a word and deconstructing it with a stroke to either put at the start or the finish of the actual typography. It's a very simple trick, but if you ever find yourself looking at your text and you think it's lacking, try deconstructing it and it might make it look better. All right, guys, now for some styles of typography that utilizes shapes to help actually push the idea forward. This first variation simply takes the concept of checkerboards and plays with the single color and black color theory to design out your canvas. You might draw out a relation or a connection to magazines as they do sometimes use the same format. You can even have one of these boxes contain more context than the rest and play, mix, and match other design styles into them. Overall, even though these shape typography styles take more precedence, they're still super easy to use and manipulate them into a design project that might actually have you at a stalemate. So this next concept is a favorite and has always been widely used, but still it needs to be seen for those who don't actually use it that often. It's basically another way to deconstruct or even highlight an important word. To do it also is very quick. You simply take your text and split it into two sections. Then take the section you'd like to highlight and use the rectangle marquee tool to make a shape behind it. Then on a new layer, you fill a color in the selection. Then hold control on your keyboard and select the layer mask of the text section. And then all you guys have to do is click on the actual shape layer that you made and press delete. It's super easy to do. It actually looks really, really good on YouTube thumbnails. And of course, if you combine it with really nice layer styles, you can get a pretty cool text effect that you could use for months. As for these last variation for these shape typography styles, this one is actually super straightforward. But if you are ever in a scenario where you need to apply a few worded subtext on the same line as your heading type, try adding a box that seamlessly connects to the heading text and put it in there. Recently, I've been doing this and I've personally been loving it. Now for the last group of typography styles, a lot of us sleep on the abstract concepts that really can kick a design into a different gear. For this first iteration, it utilizes the liquify tool in order to distort the text and give it a lot of motion, which by the way can help carry a design idea that needs help implementing that action. To do it, you simply start with your text, then you wanna make as many copies as you guys wish. Now you wanna take all the layers and combine them into one by using Control E after selecting all of them. Now, move into the liquify tool. Using the twirl tool, make sure your brush size is small enough to fit in the center, but also big enough not to go outside the text so that the outside of the text actually does not move. Then, obviously finish off by clicking and holding for as long as you guys want the twirl to be. This concept I've actually used a bunch of times, 
mainly for background backings for my client advertisements, but I can see this being put anywhere as well as if it fits in a fun active design that you might actually be creating. All right guys, now for these last two concepts, they're more reminders than anything, as putting these ideas into the right mindset can honestly set off a load of inspiration. The first reminder is using shapes to actually navigate your text on a path. It's super simple to do. All you guys have to do is use the vector shape option given in Photoshop and lay your text cursor over the path and type. If you ever have issue with spacing and figuring out how to lay the type on the actual path, be sure you guys open up in Windows characters, the actual character table to move your VA spacing and move your size to actually get way better control of where the text is going. Now, if you combine this with duplications and the right color, you can create honest fire immediately. I'm just saying. Now, following that, this last tip is actually pretty self-explanatory, but might not click for you until you actually see it. But let's just go ahead and say that you guys are in a scenario where you love the amount of characters in a design, let's just say four, but making that text font size larger probably is not in your thoughts because it'll probably bleed into your white space. Try taking the possible letters like E, O, L, U, S, etc., and stretches characters to actually help fill that void of completing that horizontal spacing. You might not know immediately, but it might give you that little bit of an edge and that clean look that you might have been looking for in the first place. And guys, that does bring us to the end of the video here today. I just want to say thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy today's video and how it's kind of like run and how it's kind of going, just please leave a like on the video and just let me know. And of course, again, if you guys have any other ideas yourself that you would just love to see me do in the sense of like trend wise, please let me know in the comment section, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys so very much. Once again, please stay safe. Please just stay safe, like stay inside, tell your parents, tell everyone that you know to please stay inside and just let's get this thing going with so we can try to get, you know, 2021 just doesn't look so dark, you know what I mean? So enjoy, love you guys, talk to you guys later, Sesso HQ out, don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive guys, even with all these things going on, let's do it.